In this video, we're going to be adding power numbers to our parallel RC circuit. So, we have our currents, we combined those already, but how are we going to figure power? Well, we go back to Ohm's law. Let's figure our true power, our watts, our working power, doing the real work. Volts times amps. 3,600 watts, or I could call it 3.6 kilowatts if I wanted to. Reactive power, voltage times current, 4,800 VARS capacitive. Reactive power, capacitive. We could add those vectorally, right? You look at your formula sheet, you'll see this formula. Apparent power is my watts squared plus my VARS squared from my power triangle. Yeah, I could do that. Or I could go 120 times 50. And either way I do it, I'll get the same answer. 6,000 volt amps. Apparent power in volt amps. True power in watts. Reactive power in VARS. And what's my power factor? Again, my ratio of real work being done compared to the power that I need to put into the circuit. A really important equation. Watts over VA. Calculate that out. We get 0.6, which equates to 60%. We can take this equation also and rejigger it, if you will, right? Algebraically rearrange it. Would my watts take the VA to this side, not be my VA times my power factor? So if I know my volt amps and my power factor, can I figure what my watts are? Yeah. Just take your VA times your power factor, okay? Or I can figure my VA by switching these two. I know how much true power, I know a power factor. Watts divided by power factor will give me my VA. And the power factor again will always be between zero and 100. Zero percent power factor if I'm totally reactive 100% power factor if my angle is zero, if my voltage and current are in phase with each other. 